Hi everyone, welcome to our UF Pro Product Spotlight. My name is Armin and I will present the Delta OL40 thermal insulation pens to you. I don't know what your experience is. Uh, my experience is that I start to uh, love thermal insulation pens when temperatures are getting really, really cold. So, would I wear it at minus 5 degrees? Definitely not. Uh, would I wear it in minus 15? Absolutely, definitely. Um, and again, if you're asking me about the thermal insulation range, the comfort range, um, you know my answer from numerous videos. My personal experience is minus 20. More, I cannot personally give any kind of Evidence, I heard from people that said minus 30 is not a problem at all. But, you know, I think, like you know me, uh, I would say that this is very, very subjective, very, very much depending on what you're doing, what you're wearing underneath, um, what you did the night before. So my recommendation is minus 20, minus 25, and I could think that they are also good to insulate you and keep you warm in minus 30. But I never tried it. Right, what is new in the new Delta OL, the 4.0 thermal insulation pens? First of all, we're using a different material. We went away from a polyester, polyurethane two-layer laminate, and we are now on a 100% nylon face fabric laminated to a polyurethane membrane. That's the first thing that is different on the materials. The second is that in the stretch areas we are using, as you know us, uh, Schoeller Dynamics and in order to make uh, the Schoeller Dynamics, which is originally not windproof and, but of course breathable, but not windproof, um, if we are putting a, a stretchy membrane behind the shoulder stretch, then it is windproof and it is breathable and it is highly, highly, highly water repellent and that will remain like this all the time. So permanently windproof, waterproof and breathable shoulder stretch areas are reinforced on the backside with a membrane to make them waterproof, windproof and breathable. What else is different? Um, side zippers were there before. The front closure here is totally different. It's a new concept. Um, it's more comfortable. It gives you more adjustability to the body shape. So that is new. All the rest, I would say, is basically like they were before. You had before, you had detachable suspenders. With that new closure here now, uh, waist closure, they are absolutely comfortable to wear even without suspenders. <clears throat> I tried it <clears throat> for a couple of hours and it worked very well, but of course usually I wear thermal insulation pants with suspenders. Knee areas, they are reinforced with Cordura, just like the 3 Zero pants, and of course we have <clears throat> gaiters incorporated in the, lower, in the lower leg area, they are detachable, so you can use them or you can lose them. Um, what else is new? I think all the rest is more or less like you know it or might not know it. From the, from the previous generation, we have 110 gram G-loft insulation as a thermal insulation. And this combined with your, with your combat pants or with your outdoor pants with long, with, with long johns underneath, preferably out of wool, wool power. Um, that's what makes me so, so convinced that even minus 30 degrees is not a problem for these pants. So these are the Delta OL 4.0 thermal insulation pants. 
and they will definitely protect you when it's getting really, really cold. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, then please click the like it button. Uh, apart from that, stay safe and see you soon.